Welcome boys and girls to Home Learning. Day 34, May 15th, 2020. All right, third graders, there's your lessons for today. May 15th, Friday, woohoo, yeah. Um, yeah, you're watching the video. Ooh, there's a mistake there. Oh boy, that's 7-5, boys and girls. Not 7-4. You did 7-4 yesterday. Um, yeah, today's 7-5. Sorry about that. A religion. Um, yeah, do something in the guidance, guidance pack or do the lesson that um, you received um, earlier this week. Um, those are great lessons. And then, of course, you know, keep working hard on seats behind trees and the questions. There's a lot of work there, but it's awesome work. So... Good luck with that, and let's keep going. Boys and girls, you most certainly are going to need yesterday's sheet. We need to uh, be able to reference our diagram. Um, and hopefully you colored yours. I, I still have mine. It got really dirty and messy when I was outside working on it. Look at all that color, but I like it. I think it looks cool. So anyways... Let's check uh, out what we're supposed to do today. It's it's like yesterday, but um, a little bit different in that yesterday, y'all, all your numerators, the top number were, were, I believe, were all ones, right? Today they're mixing it up a little bit. So here we have to compare three fourths to three eighths. So let's go over to our chart or our diagram. I think that's what they call it. And look at three fourths, one, two, three. See that, boys and girls? Look how big that is. That's almost, you guys know what three fourths are from our measuring Santas, right? Let's compare that to three eighths. Three eighths down here would be one, two, three. So the three eighths is much smaller. See the three eighths there? Much smaller than three fourths. Okay, so let's go go over here and how are we going to mark this? Well, we're going to have to put in a less than, greater than, or equal to sign. So this one, obviously, three-fourths is greater than three-eighths. Let's take a look at another one. Let's just simply look at number two. Two six is what to two fifths. Well, okay, that that might be kind of tricky. Let's go over here and take a look. Two six, boys and girls. See two six here. Compare that to two fifths. There's right here. One two fifths. Okay, so two fifths goes to here, see right there? And two sixths goes to here. So it looks like two fifths is greater than uh, two sixths. Or you would say the way it's written, very good boys and girls, two sixths is less than two fifths. Let's write this over here. Great job guys. So two sixths, is less than two fifths. Okay, awesome. Let's find one that maybe we have to use an equal to sign. So let's take a look here. What do you guys think? Where would we use the equal to sign? All right, you're right guys. Number 14, excellent. So if we have Eight eighth or eight over eight, eight eighths, and six six. We have one hole there and one hole there. Let's check that out over here on our diagram just to double just to see. So um eight eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the whole thing. That's a that's the whole thing. And then six 
six. Yeah, the whole thing. Very good. So those are equal. Eight eighths is equal to six six. And you're going to learn down the road that when you get fractions like that, you you convert them into whole numbers because that's a whole, and so is that. Wow, boys and girls, these behind trees is becoming very interesting. Yesterday we finished up, I think we finished up with question five. Let's take a look at question six and walk through the rest of them, boys and girls. So, why, why is Seas Behind Trees afraid to go meet the strangers? Well, I think we've seen that, and maybe in our uh, video conference today, we heard about that. He, Seas Behind Trees is afraid that he might be taken by the strangers. Number seven, who was Acorn? Acorn was Greyfire's uncle. And Acorn was taken as a little child by strangers. So that's why Seas Behind Trees might be so nervous. Number eight, why do Greyfire and Seas Behind Trees decide to greet the strangers? Greyfire and Seas Behind Trees decide to greet the strangers because they might know where the land of water is found. And you might also want to add, because Greyfire said that it would be a good adventure for Seas Behind Trees to report back home. Number nine, why do Greyfire and Seas Behind Trees talk loudly and make much noise when approaching the strangers. Seas, gray fire and seas behind trees talk loudly and make noise because they do not want to startle the strangers. They, okay, there you go. Number 10. How many strangers did gray fire and seas behind trees meet and what are their names? Well, this one's a little bit tricky at first, but I think we all know the answer. Gray fire and seas behind trees meet three strangers, period. The strangers' names are Karna, Patu, and Chicha, period. Remember Chicha's the baby? We didn't see Chicha right away, did we? They were hiding Chicha. Why do you think that the strangers did not introduce Greyfire and Seas Behind Trees to their baby right away? Well, just like Seas Behind Trees is afraid to be taken, maybe Carter and Pertu were afraid that Seas Behind Trees and Greyfire were bad strangers and might take their baby. Number 12, why do the strangers and gray fire and seas behind trees have difficulty communicating? Gray fire, seas behind trees, and the strangers speak different languages. And finally, number 13, why do you think gray fire and seas behind trees will leave the strangers camp quickly in the morning? Grave fire and seas behind trees will leave the camp quickly because seas behind trees thinks he hears the land of water. Okay, there you go. Now you write those as complete sentences. I gave you all the answers there. So that's all you have to do is copy those down, but I'm sure you all knew those anyways. Boys and girls, you've been doing a great job learning. Keep up the good work. And try to find something around your house. Maybe help mom and dad with something that involves some measuring or some fractions. I know some of you guys play piano. 
there's some fractions in there. So uh, keep working at that and keep reading that Seas Behind Trees. That's a great book. And if you didn't finish it by the end of today, you know, you can spend some time on Saturday and Sunday reading it. So keep going. You can do it. And remember, as always, go Zephyrs!